All right, welcome back to Plastic Models by a Regular Dude and the building, the plastic models for beginners building from a photo. So uh, where I left off is I had completed up to 13, excluding the lower hole portions. Um, I'm waiting on some uh, proper wheels. These are the solid type wheels and I need the um, spoke type. I've got some of those on the way and I'll talk more about those when I actually get them. But So I'm complete up to there. Um, and the part I left off uh, is working on this portion right here. I need to install the uh, Sponson um, parts here and then the uh, fender portion. And I've gotten all of this done. Uh, I've got the grouser racks on, but no grousers yet. I'm waiting on those because the ones I have won't work, as I mentioned. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing this stuff together here. And um, then I can move on to the next part. All right. So let's see, I have completed um, step 14, which was the uh, sponsons here and the fenders. So that's done. And then uh, step 11, or I'm sorry, step 15, uh, I've got all that done, which is all of the uh, additional armor mounting points and the grouser racks. And then I have got step number 16 done, which is all of the uh, smaller parts like uh, the siren, lights, um, guards for the lights, all the filler caps, the uh, travel lock for the main gun, and uh, yep, the uh, lifting points on the hull front. So that part is pretty much done. Now the next step calls for, uh, next step number 17 calls for assembling the top to the bottom. However, I'm not doing that because, um, you know, I always do the uh, running gear. Uh, I always do the, the weathering underneath and then put the running gear on the suspension and everything. I do all that first before I attach this. That way this is all weathered up nicely. So. I'm going to skip that part um, and go on to, I'm probably not going to install the hatches just yet. Um, yeah, I probably will. I'll attach the hatches, assemble all the pieces for the hatches. One will be closed and uh, uh, the driver's side will be open as per my photograph. So I'll for sure do the uh, assistant driver's side. And then I can start, um, I'll uh, install the rear lights and lifting points. So I'll go through these parts, uh, these steps here and install what I can. The tools I'll leave till later, but I'm going to do that stuff uh, real quick and then come back. All right. <clears throat> So the last uh, thing I talked about was the hatches and what I ended up doing here um, is I did install this one closed as per my photograph but I also cut off the flat blade type handle that was on there and uh, made my own out of small wire. I just used my uh, pin vise uh, as I've demonstrated in some of my other videos, drill a couple, cut that off, sand it smooth, drill a couple of holes the size of the wire, shape the wire with my uh, PE bender, whoops, this tool right here, and uh, made myself a handle and glued it in with uh, gel super glue so I had time to work with it and make sure it was straight. So I did the same thing on here. This one is going to be posed in the open position like that, but I went ahead and made a handle here. Whoops made a handle and then um, where this part right here sorry where this part right here glues on to the uh, to the hatch 
the hinge part there is an opening right here you know it, it's a slot that this part fits in so what I did is I used uh, some filler and filled that in I'm gonna let it dry really well and then I'll trim off the excess and sand it smooth and I've already sanded off the uh, ejector pin marks I still have to work on this one right here a little bit but uh, that that'll be taken care of in short order and that will be that um, as far as the uh, the rear of the hull most of the parts as you can see are tools with the exception of the uh, lifting eyes uh, the tail lights and the tail light guards so I glued those on and on the interior of the hull I did a quick wash just to dirty it up a little bit I'll be adding some stains and stuff like that once I uh, move farther along but that's what I wanted to do for now so I did a test fit and it fits together really well as you can see here uh, once it's pushed into position there is no seam at all it fits really really well just the fit on these things is just splendid I must say so anyway so that's that so the next part coming up is the uh, start working on the gun breech so I will be working on that next and then I will be starting work on the uh, turret itself so with that I'm gonna since I'm kind of at the end of the whole part for now until I start painting and stuff I'm gonna call this video quits so um, that's it for this time on plastic models by a regular dude and plastic models for beginners and uh, I'd appreciate some comments uh, especially on this one on uh, on video quality uh, let me know what you think of the video quality compared to um, previous videos and uh, I think I'll do a video pretty soon if everybody thinks this looks better then I'll do a video uh, explaining what I've done to change things to make it look a little better so anyway that's it plastic models by a regular dude plastic models for beginners series the m10 tank destroyer so thanks again as always questions comments below and i will see you all next time